Let's get right to our top story, the expanding outbreak of the deadly coronavirus. Look at the map. What started in China has now spread to Europe, Australia, and the United States. Here's what we know as we come on the air. There is now one more confirmed case in the U.S., bringing the total to three. In China, where the outbreak started, the total number of those sickened rose overnight to 2,000. 56 people have died. And we can now confirm that the U.S. State Department is evacuating staff from the consulate in Wuhan, China. Ground zero for the outbreak. ABC's Ian Panel is covering it all for us from Hong Kong. Ian, good morning to you. That's right, lots to bring you up to date with. Growing numbers infected, a new warning about how contagious this could be, and the American family trapped in the middle of this crisis. This morning, another American diagnosed with a potentially deadly coronavirus. The patient in Southern California is the third to be diagnosed with the new pneumonia-like virus in the U.S. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention confirming they'd been to the Chinese city of Wuhan, the epicenter of the outbreak, and tested positive for the virus overnight. The patient's in isolation and said to be in good condition, but officials warning more people will likely become infected. This, as the outbreak escalates yet again, there are now 15 countries and territories worldwide with cases. This morning, Chinese health officials saying more than 2,000 are now infected there and 56 have died. The Chinese health commissioner now warning the source of the infection still unknown. The harmfulness of the coronavirus to people of different ages is now changing. And most worryingly, indications the virus is becoming increasingly contagious. Over 1,300 more medics have been flown to the epicenter Wuhan, where officials are scrambling to build three new emergency hospitals in a matter of days. These exclusive images, filmed for ABC News from inside the city, show a ghost town, with signs warning people to wear masks fluttering in the wind. Some shoppers take the risk to stock up on desperately needed supplies. But there are still around 1,000 US citizens stranded in the Wuhan area. Now the State Department is scrambling to evacuate some of them, but it appears so far the space to get people out is limited. We spoke to one American family trapped in a city over 200 miles from Wuhan. The Stockstills from Rhode Island were visiting family for the new year to introduce baby Maxwell to his grandparents when the infection broke out. We're scared and there's little guilt involved uh, from, you know, putting him in this situation, you know, having him travel abroad at such a young age. Uh, there, there's a lot of guilt involved there. Well, as you'd expect, Patrick and his wife, Ping, are desperate to get their kids out, but they're also afraid that even if space opens up on one of those mercy missions, they won't be allowed to travel on the roads to get to the airport. Dan? And Ian, a particularly worrisome development. Chinese officials are now saying this virus is infection even in its incubation period before any symptoms show. Yeah, that's right. And that's likely to worry many. Remember, the deadly SARS and Ebola outbreaks that killed hundreds in Asia and Africa. Well, in those cases, a person was only deemed infectious when those symptoms appeared. Now, scientists, this is just what the Chinese are saying, still needs to be verified. The scientists in China are saying that people could be infectious without any symptoms. And, of course, that could make it much harder to detect and control. Dan? Yeah, very problematic, if true. Ian Panel, thank you very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.